Okay. We're gonna power through it. I don't care. Freaking, we got the wrong ending. But, you know. Fuck. We're so close to getting the real ending, I'm sure of it. And I think I know exactly the reason why I got the wrong ending in the first place. Where was my save? Here it is. Alright. Where are we? Here we are. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I saved before I let Yuka go to the toilet. I think I should probably do that. Hang on. I'll do the toilet scene. I'll be right back. Okay. Toilet scene's completed. Now we're going this way again. But, this time... Oh, just skip this text here. We go this way, because then we won't run into the other guys. What's his sensation? I get the feeling that we're not supposed to go this way. But, no! What? I don't care! Oh my god, are you serious? Mm, why am I getting the wrong end for? I don't want to go this way. No. Ah, fuck me. Don't tell me that something way back has fucked me. Yep. Something way back has fucked me. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Can you just... Stop for a second, just... Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to go way back. No, 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 don't. Oh, fuck. Son of a fucking bitch. Alright. I'm gonna have to sort this shit out. I wonder how far back, how much backtracking I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys back when we get to the real end, I guess. Okay guys, we're back. Now, um, I just have a bit to clear up with you. Um, I've gone back about an hour's worth of gameplay um, to a point where uh, we're still... Um, well, where Ayumi and Yoshiki are still alive, in quotations. So, uh, as you can see the stars are still there. Um, pretty much, um, how can I say this? Uh, I'm just gonna, like, I'm not gonna lie, I did look up a walkthrough, like, just a brief one, because I don't want to, like, have to replay the whole thing and then just get something, you know, get another crappy ending or whatever. I want to get the real ending. So, <clears throat> I kind of know what to do now, but since we're so far back, um, I'm just there's just going to be snippets of what I'm doing now uh, with parts we haven't seen yet because there's still going to be a lot of dialogue we've already read before. So I don't want to bore you guys with that. So I'm pretty sure I have to examine this. Wow! What the? Is that blood? Ah, so now that's open, and I never got to go in here before. And what the fuck? Wash hands thoroughly before all experiments and dissect in accordance with previously taught procedures. Completely empty. Completely empty. Now, I was told not to observe this, because for some reason I think maybe it like chases you around and kills you, so I'd rather not get raped. I know that if I played this without having to look at that walkthrough, I would have definitely looked at it, though. Skeleton sitting in the chair, wearing white scrubs and a pair of glasses with circular lenses. Naho's notes, 4 out of 5. Kabiki, I'm so sorry. My readings were far too broad, and my interpretations of them overly naive. This place is not the simple plane of spirits I'd previously surmised it to be. If we don't get out of here ASAP, we'll be in real danger. I th way out, particular 
I be be quit but doing so will me but Ali and Irene blah 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 blah. I intend to continue my investigation until a more reliable method is found. Until then, please, please be safe. I want to see you again, Kabiki. More than anything. I want to feel you stroke my hair. There's so much blood on these pages, they're hard to read. Gosh, from the sounds of that, you probably don't want to read any more than that. Anyway... Oh, the door's closed now. Alright, I'll get us to the next part of what we need to do to get the good ending, so I'll see you then. Okay, in here. Classroom 1A. There it is. Naha's notes 5 out of 5. The pages are all blank. Mmm, these papers. Just looking at them makes my head throb. It's like they're somehow filled with emotion. Like Naho's feelings have been projected onto them. I can smell him. I'm getting closer. Soon, I'll be with him again. The letters are just appearing on these blank sheets of paper. It's like they're being written right now in front of my eyes. My consciousness is fading. My hands are jet black. But I'm alright. I'll be with him again soon, after all. Naho's note 6 out of 5. I found you, Kabiki. I found the room you ran to. Wait for me. Naho's note 7 out of 5. I missed you. I'm going to hug you now. Naho's notes, hashtag out of five. Everything has gone dark. My body is a black mist. What the hell? Naho. Well now. I guess we'll carry on then. Hmm. I really can't believe that even though I was trying to be so thorough, I still managed to fuck it up so badly. Anyway. Naho. Well, if it isn't Ayumi Shinazaki, how are you holding up? Naho, I'd like to share with you some information I've gathered. You have my attention. What did you find? So, Sachiko was the perpetrator. I had no idea. Very interesting indeed. Thank you for providing me with this valuable data. However, you've only solved half the mystery. You have yet to determine who exactly Sachiko is. There's still a lot of ground left to cover before we've learned all there is to know about this school. At any rate, there's someone I need to find. If you'll please excuse me. I'm not done talking to you yet. But I've lost interest in what you have to say. Who was that boy in the staff room, I wonder? <laughs> was he a classmate of yours? A brother, perhaps. There's a bond of love between you two. It's what keeps you going. I would enjoy it so if more people like that came around for me to watch. It's... Quite entertaining. <laughs> Naho, I'm disappointed in you. Hmm. Now why would that be? Weren't you a veritable fangirl of mine? It's because of this. Ah. What is this, Sachiko in the Ever After crap? And what are the ruins of the Shinazaki estate? Naho's notes, 3 out of 5. 
Herein I will detail the proper observance of Sachiko Shinazaki's charm, as well as a means of reversing its effects and returning home. Oh, we finally get to know! What she read, pay dirt. Sachiko in the Ever After, Procedure for Proper Observance The spell trigger is the phrase, Sachiko, we beg of you. It must be chanted once for each participant, then one additional time for Sachiko. Following this, the proxy doll is to be torn apart. Should the proxy doll recovered from the ruins of the old Shinazaki state be unavailable, a printed facsimile will suffice for the purposes of this ritual. If everything is performed as indicated, the spirit will pass by harmlessly, and nothing of note should occur. If any part of this ritual is performed incorrectly, however, then Sachiko herself will descend upon any viable spirit medium in the vicinity, and all present will be afflicted with her curse and spirited away to the sacred ground. Procedure for Reversal If you've angered Sachiko, you may atone by redoing the ritual properly, but in reverse. First, produce your remnant of the proxy doll. You intentionally put the wrong directions on your blog. You wanted the ritual to fail. Did you do it for him? Your beloved? Your mentor? Mr. Kabiki? Were you trying to make sure he had a large sample size to study for his article? <laughs> what the hell is so funny? You think you're so smart, huh? Well, you're not. So go fish. Go fish? What the hell does that mean? She's saying it's a lie. Anyone who takes stuff posted on the net and swallows it wholesale is a fucking dumbass. A total retard. You're shaking. You can't tell me that you didn't have the slightest inkling. That it never crossed your mind something like this might happen. How many people did your little whim send to a slow, painful death, huh? You're the one who spread Sachiko's curse across the entire country. You! Don't you think I know that? But Kabiki... My dear Kabiki smiles at me when I do right by him. Oh, Kabiki, my sweet, succulent mentor. I would do anything for you. Anything at all. But you occult freaks. You can all go rot in a corner for all I care. <laughs> You're a horrible person. Horrible, horrible, horrible! God, how could you? It's my duty to protect my dear mentor's job, and I won't let anyone get in my way. No, you died here. And? Do you remember what you were thinking when you died? What you were looking at? I don't, actually. That's the one moment I just can't recall, in fact. No matter how much I try, it won't come to me. Your selfish egotism cost you the person you loved most. What? You really don't remember, do you? Your very last actions as a human being. After you lost all hope. But before you died. You weren't swallowed up by the school. Probably because of your abilities. But you did succumb to the darkening. Ah, <gasps> ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, yeah. Do you get it now? You killed him. You killed the man you loved. You killed Mr. Kabiki. You took his life with your own bare hands. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Whoa. Oh god, what the hell is that? Ah! Ugh.
disgusting. Give me a break. Is this some kind of horror movie or something? <laughs> you okay? Quiet baby statue. Alright. And Naho's thingy. Cool. Alright. I'm feeling pretty confident about this this time. Alright, here we are, we're meeting them up again. You serious? Well, there was no body, but Marishigi was beyond saving at that point, I think. But why? I wish everyone would stop dying so easily. Class rep. Guess the only one left is Miss Yui, then. God. How can you be so matter-of-fact about it? Uh, um, sorry? I think it goes without saying that none of us, none of our friends who died here would want us to join them. We all want to get out of here, so let's just cling to that desire and keep moving forward. We know the way out, so even with things a little bleaker now, there's still that hope for us. We're almost there. All we have to do is find Miss Yui, and then we can finally escape this living hell. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Nakashima, I have something of yours. Yeah, we all know. Okay, I'm just gonna stop reading it. Oh. Apparently the baby thing statue just got passed off then. Um, I took another look at these pages after we had our little talk with Naho. And all the bloodstains have vanished. You can read every word clear as day now. Kabiki, I'm so sorry. My readings were far too broad, and my interpretations of them overly naive. This place is not the simple plane of spirits I'd previously surmised it to be. If we don't get out of here ASAP, we'll be in real danger. I thought we'd be able to get back easily through the way out strategy I detailed, but these child spirits are bound here in a very particular manner. It won't be quite so simple to achieve. Doing so will mean appeasing the malicious spirits that dwell here to unlock the gate that cuts through the planar void back to the world we know. Using this technique before fulfilling this condition could be unimaginably dangerous. There's no telling what might happen. Does that mean... Yeah, this planar void that separates heavenly host from the real world... World? Holy crap. <laughs> the real world was created by Yuki and the others. And it's totally surrounding us. So if we did this reverse Sachiko charm thing right now... Right now, we still wouldn't be able to get back. It would block our way. So we really do have to get Sachiko to repent and appease the other child spirits in order to get home. Okay, let's give it our best shot. We're almost there, right? Alright. We're finally getting somewhere. Excellent. Let's keep doing it then. Alright. Just going along here. Um... I think we've already done this one, right? Oh wait, we haven't. Oh, we had to do that one then. Cool. So we did that. Now, um... Which toilet? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Alright. We got both the statues. You know, that was really bothering me before. When we got to the ending, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know... What the hell was that statue area all about? Like, if we couldn't even get the other one, so... This time we got it. And this time we can... put it where it should be. Which is good. 
we'll get to see what the hell we get. This way. Got one pedestal there, and the other one. Baby statues. Yeah. Cool. You know what I'm gonna say. Um, where am I going to save? Let's save here. Right in the middle. Alright. Ooh. Ugh. Naomi. It's here. The black mass that attacked me earlier. The sign says infirmary, but... Whatever's at the end of this hall is nothing like anywhere we've been before. My... my head... Big brother, it hurts! Mine too... Ah! You've both got nosebleeds. You two stay here, I'll go on alone. <gasps> what the hell? Is that a child's face and hands in the window? There's a posting attached to the door. Sachiko, cleaning up in the reference room. Please wait here for me until I'm done. Mum. Sachiko? The door's open. Come on in. Blood. Oh my god. It's mine. When did my nose start bleeding? <laughs> I think I'll be in danger if I stay here too long. But I get the I get the feeling there's something here I need to see. What do you say? Shall we go on the field trip together over summer vacation? hell is that? What's going on? I can't move a muscle. Have I been... paralyzed? My dear Sachi, she's my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> Diary. Whose diary? Is it... the spirits? The book seems quite old, with yellowed pages and frayed edges, but the carefully inked letters are still completely legible. What? 7-19-1953. I seem to be dead. No, that can't be right. I can't forgive you. I won't forgive you. I'm going to kill you. How dare you harm Sachiko? How dare you harm me? This is bad. Satoshi! Naomi, Yuka, stand up. We have to get out of this hole now. Brother! Well now, what did I get? When did I get nothing? What the hell? Ah, <laughs> uh, you two alright? Uh huh, I'm fine. I'm okay too. The headache subsided. It must have been that hallway. What was that place, anyway? It was the nurse's office. There was a woman there, with a broken neck. And just before I ran out, children started appearing all around her. Ah! Uh, Satoshi, is that...? Yeah, it's the diary from the desk. I tried going through that place earlier, but it was totally frozen in place. I couldn't even turn the pages. 
Is it that woman's? Without a doubt. I saw her riding in it. What? There's a name on the back. Yoshi Shinazaki. I'm not sure what we'll learn from it, but I'm willing to bet that it's something important. Shall we take a look? Ooh. 7-19-1953 I spoke at great length with the children again today. They're so full of life and growing up so fast. The younger students are quiet and respectful too. It's clear their parents love and care for them very much and have taught them very well. But I won't be left behind. I intend to raise Sachiko with just as much love and devotion as any of them. Today is her seventh birthday. Birthday? Birthday. We're meeting after school and going out for dinner. I hope she likes the stuffed cat I got her. Had to sort out some documents in the reference room before meeting up with Sachi. While I was working, the principal dropped by. After he and I talked for a bit, he suddenly came up to me from behind. He grabbed me and forced me down, then began unbuttoning my blouse. He'd always been so kind, lending a sympathetic ear to my problems, but today he didn't even seem like the same man. His eyes were cold and empty. I was in such shock, I'm not even sure exactly what happened to me after that. I slipped away somehow, but he was right behind me. I only made it as far as the landing on the stairs. Just as I turned the corner I felt him push me. The floor came at me fast, and suddenly I found myself unable to move. I was slumped across the ground unceremoniously, and I was dead. Buckets of blood spilled out from my head. I'm sure it was hell to clean up later. I also lost control of my bowels. Embarrassing, to say the least. I was slipping away, but I was pulled back by the sound of a very dear voice. Sachiko saw everything. I guess she'd come to find me. The principal closed in on her. What was he planning to do? I yelled with every ounce of my strength for him to stop. But I was dead. I had no strength. Sachiko tried to run, but she had the stride of a seven-year-old. He caught her easily. And then, before my very eyes, he strangled the life out of her. What a cruel man. He rebuttoned my shirt, and then took Sachiko to the basement and buried her. He'll probably say my death was an accident, and report her as missing. I'm not a bad person. I don't deserve this. There's no redemption for what he's done. 7 20 53 It's just as I suspected. According to the official report, I slipped and fell. And nothing's been said to anyone about Sachiko yet. The other teachers and students are all mourning me. They're so kind. I'm in mourning too. 7 1953 there's a stranger sitting in my chair, the new nurse no doubt, but no one's come to see her. She mustn't be very popular. I hate her. 7-26-1953 Little by little, I'm losing my mind. Bit by bit, I'm fading away. A dark will, not my own, has begun infiltrating my being. Make it stop. So, she was... Sachiko's mum? It's so awful. Yeah, it is. I really feel for her. Wait, though. Isn't anyone else bothered by the dates on these diary entries? Sachiko shouldn't even be there. The kidnappings and murders didn't take place until 1973, remember? Ah, oh, you're right. These are all dated a full 20 years earlier. What does that mean? We kept reading. This post-mortem diary continued to chronicle school nurse 
Yoshi Shinazaki's laments and regrets, and detailed her agony. Bound to the side of her demise, Yoshi eventually exhausted all possible topics, filling the remaining pas uh, pages with s short passages like, I'm so alone, so very alone. I want to see Sachiko again. I want to see the children again. I will never forgive him for what he did. I'll kill them all. Among other similarly mournful or angry sentiments. What the? I can't open the, past this last page. Uh, past this page. After a certain point, the diary's pages became so blood-soaked that they were all sticking together in a coagulated mess of gloppy paper. Skipping past the bloodied section yielded the very last few entries in the book, all of which were dated around 20 years later. 7-12-1973 Sachi is my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. She'd even kill lots of people to keep me company. She sends me so many children. I love them all. 7-15-1973 I have to make her stop. This won't make me happy. Sachiko, please stop. 7-16-1973 His family is just as guilty as he is. I'm going to curse the entire lion forever. I'll burn some sense right into their brains. 7-17-1973 How did this happen? Sachiko, who died alongside me twenty years ago, has a flesh and blood body once more. She, ch she kills children and sends their souls to me. But I don't want that. That won't make me happy. Sachiko... Please, come see me. Talk with me. 7-20-1973 Sachiko killed six more. And when they die, it's like every trance of their existence is removed from history. It's spiriting away in the truest sense of the term. But she's not capable of abducting and killing children on her own. She makes that man do the kidnapping for her. Sachiko, please stop. 7-23-1973 Sachi is no longer killing for my sake. Now she's just killing because she likes it. I don't know when this change happened, but it did. Living beings are such fickle, Easily angered creatures. They killed us, after all. I can't forgive anyone who kills another human being. I'll kill them all. I'll kill them for what they've done. I'll show them no mercy. 7-24-1973 Kill more. 7-25-1973 Kill more. 8 15-1973 Bring me more. 9-18-1973 Thanks to Sachi, I'm no longer alone. She sent me three more adorable little children today. Sachi is my pride and joy. I don't think she even recognizes me anymore. But I still love her with all my heart. 11-18-1975 The school's been closed down and the principal jumped off the roof. Serves him right. I think I'll sing with the children. Something fun and happy. What a pitiful way to die. Serves him right. 11-23-1975 Sachi's been wandering the halls. These empty halls. She kills anyone who enters. People who've heard rumors or are just curious. She and I are both so desperately thirsty. But there's nothing we can do about it. After this, the writing becomes too jumbled to read. God! 
So, Sachiko's been killing children and sending their souls to her mother so she won't get lonely? And I guess eventually, it just drove her mad. It seems like deep down, even her mum wants her to stop. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what we should do next, but if we're going to get through to Sachiko, then it looks like the school principal is the key. If I recall, the principal's office is in the other building. Holy crap! Oh man, <clears throat> my throat is so sore after reading all that, god damn. Oh well. May as well keep it up. Time to get to the next part. See you then. Well, um, that didn't take much because, um, <laughs> literally I just stu uh, stood down and there's this. There's a stuffed doll in the shape of a black cat lying in the middle of the floor. Pick it up. Yes! Acquired black cat plushie. Alright. Now we can continue on. Let's keep it on. Okay, so I just took uh, Mochida and Yuka and Naomi to the principal's office and they've gone down the hole and we swap back to these guys and we're here. What is it? It's a scrapbook of, a, of the murder case full of newspaper articles with photos. Someone circled a photograph of one of the victims in red pen and wrote in the name Sachiko Shinazaki below it. This is supposed to tell us something about her? I don't know. Ah, uh, look. There's another newspaper clipping in here. Seems like an older one. July 20th, 1953. Man, this one's from long before the murder incident. That was almost 60 years ago. Tangent Times. Heavenly Host Elementary loses beloved nurse. Eastern medicine, unlike its more popular Western counterpart, often seeks to treat the mind and soul rather than the body. One of its most renowned local practitioners, Yoshi Shinazaki, 27, was found dead after taking a spill down a flight of stairs and breaking her neck. Recently serving as school nurse at Heavenly Host Elementary, it's there that the body was found. Through song and stories, she had transformed the school infirmary infirmary into a fun, invigorating place to be. No doubt she'll be greatly missed. Many students were looking forward to an upcoming field trip with Mrs. Shinaza Mrs. Shinazaki and have expressed deep regret at the cancellation of these plans. Though a great number of children are too young to fully understand what happened, there is a pervading sense of melancholy throughout the school this day. That's so sad. Could this have could this have some relation to the Shinazaki estate Naho mentioned in her notes? Ah, look, there's a related article on the same page. Only daughter of deceased school nurse reported missing. And there's a picture. Ah Sachiko Shinazaki reported missing. The hell? It's the same girl. It's a Chico. Exactly the same as in the photo from the murder incident 20 years later. The two photos are practically identical. How is that possible? How can she exist in both eras? No matter how you look at it, it's definitely the same person. And whoever put together this scrapbook obviously made the connection too. This is just getting weird. Alright, let's carry on then. Okay, I just went down the stairs and this happened. Ah, crap! What is it? We have to hide, now! That's Sachiko, isn't it? Uh-huh. Damn. Come on, let's try going up. Gulk. I can't move. 
and I can't speak. It's like I'm completely paralyzed. Good. Something seems different about her, though. Wait, stop! No, get away from me! Oh god. I said stop! Uh... Sh Shinazaki. Ugh, Shinazaki. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push you. Come on, stand up. Ah, 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 ah. Mommy? Oh, hello, Sachiko. You saw, didn't you? Come on, move, damn it. Get away, quickly! <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Come here. Ah! You saw everything, didn't you? You saw, didn't you? Shinazaki, we're getting out of here. Come on. Kishinuma. Shinazaki. Wait. What is it? We're not being followed. Yoshi's accident and Chico's disappearance. Looks like we're seeing them firsthand. What is he planning to do with her body? He's hiding it, isn't he? According to that old newspaper article, the mother died in an accident, and the daughter was reported missing. That's just unconscionable. So, if you were going to hide Sachiko's body, where would you do it? I couldn't even venture a guess. Remember that manuscript Mr. Kabiki was writing? The one Mochida told us, told us about? There was something in it about a cursed basement room that had been sealed up since the school was first opened. Do you think, maybe... Good call. 
Yeah, let's check it out. Okay. Alright. I think that I have to read this note, though. Okay, so now, um... I have to do the whole, um... Incinerate a bit again, so I'll see you guys when I get back from that. So, um, I guess you guys have missed a little bit, but that's pretty much just because I've been skipping through this whole part so that you guys don't have to rewatch it again. Um, yep, just saw Psycho get dragged off and Naomi ran away. Uh, according to the walkthrough that I consulted before, it said that if you go down there, you get an extra end, but you don't get the good ones, so. We're not going to do that this time. We're going to head on over, continue on. Anyway, we're almost uh, caught up. In fact, I don't really know. Um, so we've read that. I don't know if I can go this way now or not. Uh, yeah. All right. It's definitely not that way. So I think that we're pretty much caught up. I'll keep recording from now on. So I've already read this part though, but that's okay. Um. Also, I believe that all the tags I got, um, name tags, they carry on. So even if I uh, went to an old save, I think that I still have these name tags anyway. Which is cool. Come on. <clears throat> We've already read this part. This is pretty much what I've been doing this whole playthrough now. Like, while you haven't been here, just skipping through all the dialogue. Alright, here we are. Yoshiki and Shinazaki. Alright, so this is the clincher. This is the part where we see whether I've done it right or not. I really hope so, but anyway. Machida. And Yuka too. Good to see you guys. Uh-huh. Are you two okay? You're out of breath. <sighs> Naomi. Naomi went after this monster that took Shinohara's body. And she got separated from us. Nakashima is missing? Miss Yui too. God. It's... It's all my fault. Be strong, remember? Those were Miss Yui's last words. <laughs> so, we have to do what she says, right? I mean, we have to do what she says. And get out of here alive, okay? Right? <laughs> Miss Yui, you know, I can't even think of her with anything but a smile on her face. No matter what we were going through, Miss Yui's always been there for us. She's been rooting for us since the very start. I'm sure she still is. <laughs> Come on, we have to do this. For Miss Yui. Let's not worry her anymore. Oh my god, thank you, god, thank you. Naomi, please be okay. Oh, she went that way. Psycho! Psycho, where are you? Like she's gonna answer. I won't... Let them hurt you anymore. I'll protect you. Naomi. Ah, Yuki, you're here. Does this mean you still have control over your will? Ayumi, don't give in. Huh? You've been stricken with the darkening. Its effects are beginning to take hold of you. There's still time to stop it, but you must hurry. She's here, just beyond the next room. Whether or not you'll be able to return to your own world, Depends entirely on her. Go. Quickly. Wait. What about Naomi? We can't leave without her. She's... Fighting her own demons right now. Yeah. 
if she can overcome them, if she's able to resist her own darkening, she'll be along. It should be possible to appease even Sachiko. Make certain you're ready. Ready to fight. I still don't know what the hell is going on in this godforsaken place, but I've come way too far to back down now. I'm in this till the bitter end. We understand. Come on, everyone, let's do this. Just remember, the way out lies with Sachiko. You must find a way to get through to her, to touch her heart. All right. This is it. The last save, I think. This better be fucking right. <laughs> That's all I can say. Let's do this. My throat is so sore, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, fuck. There's a rotting corpse hanging from the ceiling. It's Yoshikazu Yanagihori. Yep. He killed himself. Oh boy, here we are. <gasps> uh, big brother, my head hurts. Yuka. It's pitch black. Is Sachiko in here? What's that? <sighs> ah, is that Sachiko? I told you to stay away. Don't come any closer. Don't look at me. Sachiko. Sachiko, please listen. We... Leave. Please, believe me. We mean you no harm. Leave now or I'll kill you. Damn it. We're not getting through to her. My name is Shogu Taguchi. I work as Ku Kabiki's cameraman and general assistant. I've gotten separated from the boss, but I intend to do exactly as I promised him I would. I'll keep filming until the bitter end. No matter what happens, I won't miss a minute. These records will serve to validate my existence. No, don't! What the... coming from upstairs. <sighs> it's the little girl's room? Who's in there? I need to stay out of sight. I hope I'm able to get this, whatever it is. Please. Don't do this. Naomi. Oh god. <clears throat> My body. We've been paralyzed. I can't move. Oh god. Is everybody alright? My ears, my ears! Big brother, save me! Oh shit. Ah! Yuka! Yuka! God, I can't even turn my body to look at her! Are we all frozen like this? Oh, what are you doing to me? Ah! Ow! Stop! Please! 
Yuka, what's happening? Ah! Sachiko, you bitch. Leave her alone. Mochida, get on with it. Quickly. Get on with what? Appeasing her? Just hurry. Okay. Naomi, please, don't do this. Two girls. One's on a bucket with her hands tied behind her back and a rope around her neck. No. No, please. Naomi, wake up. Naomi. Naomi. Ah. She just kicked the bucket away. My god, this is a murder. Ah, ah. Ah, uh, uh, what the hell did I just see? Ah! Ah, help! Save me! Sachiko, this is yours. It's a part of your body that was taken from you. Open your eyes, please. Yes. No, there's no book. Um, I don't know whether I'm supposed to do that or not. Crap, I don't want to fucking die. Um, no. White Sachiko. Mommy, you promised. Your mum's been suffering just as much as you have. The things you're doing aren't making her happy at all. Like, uh, yes. No. Who? Where's my mummy? Where am I? I can move again. Does that mean it's working? Ah. 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 Naomi! Come on everyone, take out your paper doll scraps! Okay. Got it! Alright. Okay. Sachiko, so hear our please. We want to go home. That's what charms really are. They represent our regards for other people. They're like microcosms of the soul, right? You and your mum both suffered such horrible fates. But all we want to do is free you from that suffering. Chant. Sachiko, we beg of you. 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 Oh my god, did I do it? <sighs> you guys, Yuka, Naomi, is everyone alright? It's okay. It's nothing serious. I'll use my ribbon to help stop the bleeding. Hopefully that should be enough. Ayumi, thank you. Yuka. We did it! <sighs> Satoshi. Naomi, I'm so glad you're okay. What happened with Shinohara? I'll... Tell you later. 
Oh, uh, okay. Yuki. Now is your only chance to escape. The veil between your world and this school is at its thinnest. The gate is open. You need to hurry and get outside the building before it closes. Complete the ritual. Once it closes, this nexus will return to the way it was, and you'll have lost your chance to get out. What? So what's going to happen to all of you, then? It appears we've become a part of these spaces. Aside from Sachiko, none of us can be saved. Right now, I'm free. But it's not going to last. Soon, I'll continue shaping this place. Just as I always have. No! The school has already begun creating a new Sachiko. Please, go. Get out of the building while you still can. Oh, ah! Eek! Come on, let's get out of here. Alright, we're getting the fuck out of here. Can I get out this way? No, fuck. I think I know which way I can get out. Somewhere in the distance a bell tolls. It sounds like the hour tone of a grandfather clock. Oh shit. Great. I love situations like this. I absolutely love them. Fuck, I didn't save either before I left. God damn it. Oh, bugger. I have to go the right way, don't I? Okay. Okay, that's okay. I, I still know it. I still know it. Like this. The bell tolls again. I'm glad. Wonderful. Okay. Alright, I did it. Easy. Too easy. Straight down. Okay. Okay. This is actually pretty intense. Third toll. Ah, oh, crap. We have time. We have time. Uh, this way. God damn it, I've done it enough. <laughs> to remember. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, this way. Oh, fuck! Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. Okay, good. A fourth toll. I'm glad. Fucking wonderful. Fucking glad there was a fourth toll. Fucking this way. Alright, we're getting the fuck out of here. This is it. Fuck you, heavenly host. We're getting the fuck out of Dodge. Fifth toll. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Shit. Shit. Shit, what? Oh, if I can't go that way, what does that mean? Mm, yeah. Come on, this way better be fucking open. Number six, the air is beginning to feel thicker now. Alright, cool. This way's open. Good. Let's keep going. Okay. Uh, this way? No. This way. Okay. We're outside, right? We made it. All we have to do now is climb over this fence and we're home free. Let's go. All right. Okay. Please work, please work, please work. Whoa, are we? We are. 
We're home. Big brother. Yuka. We really made it. Yuki, thank you so much. And so, the five of us who survived the ordeal were able to return to Kizaragi Academy, to the real world, in our own time. For a while, we were all just so happy to be home and to be alive. We were overjoyed. But it didn't take long before the grim reality of what happened wiped the smiles off our faces. Miss Yui, Shinohara, Morishigi, and Suzumoto. They weren't with us anymore. Well, be careful on your way home, okay? I will. Goodbye. Later. Wait, before you all go... Hmm? Don't stay home tomorrow. Come to school, please. Okay. I didn't think I'd be able to sleep that night after all the things I'd seen. But I wound up sleeping like a rock. The next morning, it was with heavy hearts that we all trudged toward a school devoid of Miss Yui and the others. Yet fate still had one more sick twist in store for us. Shinohara? Morishigi? Am I supposed to know who you're talking about? Our homeroom TA's name is Matsudo. You still half asleep or something? A transfer student? Are we getting someone new? Ah. It was like... The four people who died in that school had never existed to begin with. No, this isn't right. How can no one else remember any of them? All those times we spent with Psycho and the others. Am I just supposed to accept that none of that really happened? Miss Yui, Suzumoto, Morishigi and Shinohara. Are you telling me that they only exist in our memories now? That's just beyond cruel. <sighs> Still absorbing innumerable souls and ingesting the thoughts of innocent boys and girls. Heavenly Host Elementary School stands firm, with a newly appointed Sachiko at its core. There are those precious few who survived those who lost their lives, and those who were overcome by the dark curses therein. And among them all are the spirits of those who were wronged, bearing an unimaginable pain and endlessly searching for a spite from their sadness. For a place to call home. Chapter 5, End. Sorry to call you in here like this, Satoshi. Ah, it's not a problem at all. What's up? There's... something I want you to see. Here. Huh? Isn't that... It is. It's that unsent text message from Shinohara I showed you. Yeah. I need to tell you something.
so it was you. Psycho couldn't move, but instead of saving her, I put a noose around her neck. You don't remember any of it? When I saw that scene play out, my mind just shut down. I couldn't think at all, and a black mist began forming around me. I was slipping away. I didn't care either. Nothing mattered to me anymore. I would have welcomed death. Ah! Psycho. Psycho! I... I... God, no. Psycho. I wish I could take it back. <laughs> the darkness had begun seeping into every pore. My body was pitch black. I was right on the verge of losing consciousness. And then... This is that text message. Why am I receiving it now? It doesn't matter. I don't even want to live anymore. Living is too painful. I'm sure Psycho must have died hating me. There's just nothing left to live for. Hmm? It's the same message. Psycho, are you trying to tell me something? She must be spamming me. She's probably furious. No. There's no way she's not mad at me. We had such a huge fight. She can't possibly forgive me. Especially not after what I did to her. Psycho. There's no excuse for my actions. You... You must hate me, right? You have to hold some kind of grudge. Psycho. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you, Psycho. Psycho, she... She really existed, didn't she? She really did spend all that time with us, right? She did. She was real, Naomi. I miss Yui and the others, too. I can't stand the thought that I'll never see them again. <laughs> just one last time. I just want to talk to Psycho. One last time. I know you do. God damn it. Corpse body. Fit.
Well, that was Corpse Party. That was just plain amazing. I'm kind of lost for words at the moment. That was brilliant, though. I'd uh, personally like to thank everyone for um, watching the playthrough I have of Corpse Party. I hope you all enjoyed it, got something out of it. I'm, I doubt any of you would have not seen it before. Whoops, that's kind of the... Uh, intro playing again, but still, um, yeah, I, I'm really speechless, but yeah, besides, you know, thanking you for sticking with me and watching this playthrough, I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and I'll get around to doing stuff like this in the future. If you have any suggestions or whatnot, put it down in the comments, and I'll be sure to look it up. Uh, I guess, um, <clears throat> I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. It is natural to die.